The Apple TV has become one of my most used Apple devices in my smart home. And today I'm going to show you seven hidden features that Apple does not want you to know. And stay tuned to the end where I'll show you the feature that blew my mind and three bonus hidden features. Hidden feature number one is that you can find your lost Apple TV remote with your phone or even your home pods with Siri with Find My. Now, if you're like me, losing the Apple TV remote or really anything else is often a daily occurrence. And for some odd and strange reason, Apple has has not added the Find My feature to the Apple TV remote, which means there's no way to track where your remote is like you can with your AirPods or your Apple Watch. So once the remote is lost in the couch abyss, it can be really difficult to find it between the couch cushions or in a different room. Thankfully though, there's a solution for this and it's affordable. You'll need an AirTag in order for this to work and add it to your Find My account and call it something like remote. Then you'll need some way to attach the AirTag to the remote and Apple does not make a way to do this. I'm using a case from Amazon that doubles as protection for your remote from drops has full access to buttons and charging and will give you a better grip for using the remote. On the back has a place for an air tag so you can just slide your air tag right in and you'll be able to see the location of where your remote is. And with an iPhone 11 or newer with Apple's U1 chip or ultra wide band chip, you can use precision finding which makes finding lost items a breeze with arrows and soft vibrations indicating how close or how far I am away from the remote. And as great as this sounds, that's not even the best part. Not only can you tell Siri on your phone to find your items, but if you have a HomePod, then you can actually ask Siri to find your remote for you. And the AirTag will make a sound using the built-in speaker for a couple seconds to help you find the remote. Find the remote. Looking for remote. It's nearby. Put in the remote now. Unfortunately though, Apple does not allow family sharing of AirTags, which if you didn't know, family sharing allows you to look at your family member's devices from your phone. Since Apple does not support this with AirTags and only recognizes your voice to find your items, this means that the other people in your home cannot locate any items when you're away, which I guess is good for security, but not if you need help finding the remote. So if my wife tries to ask Siri where the remote is, this happens. Can you find the remote please? Couldn't find anything called the remote set up and find them. Adam. This can be very frustrating for the people in your home that are just trying to watch TV but can't find the remote when you're not at home. However, there is an alternative option with hidden feature number two. Using a HDMI CEC port on the back of your TV, you're able to use almost any non-Apple remote to control your Apple TV, either through infrared, which is the most common, or by using a network-based remote. This can be the remote that came with your TV or a universal remote. And a non-Apple remote can do almost everything Thing that the native Apple remote can do. It supports basic navigation, so scrolling up or down around the menus, adjusting volume, and adjusting playback like play, pause, rewind, or skip ahead, and to power the Apple TV on or off. You won't be able to use Siri as third-party remotes don't support Siri. If you have a remote that has a voice assistant built in, like a Fire TV, then it'll only use Amazon's assistant and won't use Siri. So you'll have to use the Apple remote if you want to ask for shows or movies or to control your smart home devices with Siri. Speaking of smart home and Siri, if you have a smart camera that works with Apple's HomeKit, then you'll be able to ask Siri to show you the live feed of your camera. On the bottom right, you can control the power of other smart devices in the same room, like turning on or off lights or smart plugs. And the icon in the middle allows you to view all of your cameras at once. And the icon on the right is for picture and picture, which will allow you to view the live feed of a camera while watching other shows or navigating your Apple TV. Or if you're already watching a show, then you can use Control Center to view your cameras and swipe to switch cameras and if you tap one then you'll be able to view the whole live feed and speaking of cameras hidden feature number four is that your apple tv can send you motion notifications while you're watching a movie or a show your camera will need to be set to stream and allow recording in the home app and your camera has to support HomeKit secure video in order to receive alerts a preview will pop up on your screen and you can open up the live feed from there or it'll automatically fade out and if you're receiving too many alerts then you can simply snooze activity by clicking on the moon icon and choosing how long to snooze motion alerts for. And to set this up, go to settings, airplay and HomeKit, cameras and doorbells. And here you can customize what cameras to receive alerts 
from and what type of alert. You can choose general motion or specific types. So say like only people or packages at a front door. If you have a HomeKit doorbell like Logitech or Belkin, then you'll get an alert when somebody is at the door and ringing the doorbell. You can also get notifications from secure accessories as well. This would include a smart lock, so you can be notified whenever the door has been locked or unlocked. And this includes security systems. So whenever the mode changes, like going from home or away, you'll be able to receive an alert, just like you'd be able to on your iPhone. And like the iPhone, the Apple TV has a light and dark mode, which is hidden feature number five. So in the morning, you could have it on light mode to make it easier to navigate your Apple TV. And then at night, if you're watching a movie, then you can switch to dark mode, which will make the background menu colors dark to avoid blasting your eyeballs with a bright light at night. You will have to do this manually every time you want to switch modes. But if you would like this to be an automatic process where you don't have to worry about manually changing the modes, then you can have the Apple TV automatically switch between light and dark mode depending on the time of day. This is a handy feature if you like using light and dark mode. And what's also handy is the ability to reduce loud sounds, which is hidden feature number six. So if you've ever watched an action movie that has loud explosions or music or loud sound effects, then you'll notice that explosions are louder than a regular conversation or dialogue in a movie. So you'll turn the volume up to hear what people are saying and then turn the volume down whenever there's a loud explosion, which means that you're constantly having to adjust the volume up and down and this makes for a bad viewing experience. But the Apple TV has a feature called reduce loud sounds that fixes this problem. This feature will turn off the full dynamic range and will balance out the audio so dialogue and explosions will sound the same. This is especially useful at night if you're trying to watch a movie and you don't want a loud explosion to wake up other folks that are inside your home. To turn this on, go to settings, video and audio, reduce loud sounds, and turn this on. This will enable the feature for all your streaming apps that you have installed on your Apple TV, and you're not able to choose which apps have this feature enabled. Now, this feature is not perfect. Sometimes the dialogue will be way too quiet, but this varies on the movie and the show and how it was made. This feature creates a much better viewing experience and has quickly become one of my favorite features of the Apple TV. As much as I like this feature, there is another feature that I like even more. And I'll tell you what that feature is after a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. And there are many ad-free classes available to help you learn a new skill. I've been looking for ways to create a productive workflow for making YouTube videos. And I've been watching How to Organize Your Workflow to Maximize Productivity by Ali Abdal. And he talks about actionable strategies to improve productivity and focus with scheduling events, to-do lists, and more. New classes are launched every week so there's always something new to discover. Classes are often short but jam-packed with a lot of information so you're able to learn a lot of information in a very short amount of time. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code will get a free one month trial of Skillshare to get you started about learning something new. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. All right, hidden feature number seven is my favorite feature of an Apple TV called One Home Screen. And this feature will save you so much time and frustration, especially if you have multiple Apple TVs or if you're setting up a new Apple TV. Normally, when you set up a new Apple TV, you have to adjust the settings to your liking and download all the apps that you want one by one. And then you have to move them to where you want them to be on your home screen. And this can be a very time consuming process. And with One Home screen enabled, the Apple TV will do all this work for you. To enable this, open settings, go to users and accounts, choose the default user, and scroll down to one home screen and turn it on. And now all the Apple TVs that you are signed into with the same iCloud account will look the same. If you move or rearrange an app on your home screen, then it will automatically sync to the new location across all the other Apple TVs, so you won't have to manually move the icons on the other Apple TV. Now let's look at three bonus hidden features for your Apple TV. Number one, one is that you can control your Apple TV from multiple Apple devices. Controlling the Apple TV with the remote is really easy since it only has a few buttons. To make it even easier, and if you can't find your remote, then playback controls appear right on your phone's lock screen. So you can play or pause, scrub through the video, or change the volume if your TV supports this. What's also cool is that you can see and control what's playing on your HomePods and Apple TVs in the Now Playing section in Control Center. This works on Apple devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi as your TV. 
so on the Apple Watch or even on the iPad. Bonus hidden feature number two is that your Apple TV can be a smart home hub for all of your smart devices that work with HomeKit. A hub is needed to control any of your devices remotely, view your camera footage, and run automations. And the third bonus hidden feature is that you can use shortcuts and automations to take your Apple TV experience to the next level. You can put a bunch of Siri shortcut widgets on your home screen that can open certain apps, show you the on-screen remote, play or pause, and even switch between apps. And with automations, in the morning, your Apple TV could automatically turn on and open your favorite streaming app. This way, you can get to your show much faster. Here are other Apple TV videos I have made on this channel, and thank you for watching.